Hey y'all, it's Blue. Just a quick little message, right? Because it's starting to rain. And uh, I thought I'd come outside for a little bit just to get some some uh, fresh air. Enjoy uh, some of this air. It's been quite the day. But anyway, I want to talk about uh, what's on my mind about this TikTok ban. And uh, I call bullshit on the TikTok ban. You've got these people who are in a position of power who can make calls over our lives and think that they know what's best for us when they don't live the lives we live. Most of them, if not all of them, have security in their jobs. They have influence, they have power. The people on TikTok are just trying to live their best lives, whether that means that they're just like me, that just wanna just share whatever's given to them, whether they're uh, of a more entrepreneurial spirit, where they're, you know, business owners and making a living in a country that it's hard to get ahead without robbing Peter to pay Paul. It's just bullshit, right? Of all the things that they could come together on, the best they could come together on is this TikTok ban on a bullshit premise. You want to talk about you don't want to give the, the leg up and the hand up to China as far as security and privacy and this, that, and the other. This is the United States of America, new, notoriously known for knowing everybody's business, for breaking all the rules as far as it comes to privacy, for, I mean, you've got a whole central intelligence agency that does nothing but that, and does it with without any regard to privacy, right? So why would you give a damn about China having access when you've already got it and have used it in any ways necessary to benefit your own agenda, right? Here's the deal. We owe China $1.3 trillion. That's what the T, folks. We owe China. And if you'll notice that whenever China's doing some, some stuff or you know, flexing a little bit. We'll talk, but we won't just go in on them. Why? Because at any given moment, China can call default. At any given moment, China can say, you know what, y'all go ahead and pony up that 1.3 trillion that we don't have. And so then the U.S. goes into default. And guess who owns the U.S. by the balls? China. So, U.S. is gonna tread lightly. They're going to call this, they're saying in this bill that they're not going to shut it down, but that China has to give ownership of their their uh, proprietary business, their intellectual property to the U.S. If that's not a strong arm, I don't know what is. Now, if China says, oh, that's the ball you want to play? Well, okay, well, we're going to call default on that 1.3 uh, trillion that you owe us pay up. What the hell are we going to do? So the U.S. and our folks who are making these decisions need to think again. Need to think if it takes someone like me who doesn't even work in any type of legislative branch but very inclined to know about how our legislature works can figure this out. I can't understand why those folks can't figure it out. Then, on top of that, you got folks who are making this type of decision that probably don't even have TikTok installed on their phones. Don't even know what the hell TikTok is. But yet you want to impede on the lives of people who enjoy the app, who are making money from the app, if they're so fortunate to do so. In a country where it's hard, you can have all the degrees in the world and still wind up working retail. Tell me how that's fair. But then they can get on TikTok and move in their calling and move in their gifts and be rightly rewarded for their effort and their work without discrimination, without any, um, any type of retaliation. All of these things go on in our workplace here in these United States. I can tell you for sure. So the people who are making the shots and the calls about this are people who don't even who aren't even 
using it know nothing about it but they want to cite the reason as pri uh, as security and privacy folks i used to be married to someone who used to work at the cia learned a lot of shit right that's why i move a lot the way that i move and one thing i will tell you is this they've got those satellites up there that are running around and at any given moment they could put in your coordinates and turn that little um, satellite towards your house on a good Sunday morning while you're having coffee and reading the newspaper and can literally see the page number of the newspaper that you're reading. Think it's a game? Think again. So we talk about privacy. If anybody's concerned about somebody having access to information and privacy, it's, it's the U.S. You've got... Us, we've got a social security number we have to put everything on you're tracking us by the number then we've got to make sure that our phones are able to receive this bullshit ass tax emergency warning come on y'all can't have to it can't have it both ways so are we afraid of china having our information folks china's always been having our information and quite frankly until we pay up 1.3 million trillion sorry to them they might have the rights to own our information, whether by hook or by crook. Me personally, if I find, I'm going to find out the names of everyone who was for this ban. And I'm not voting for any of them. I hope that you follow suit. TikTok ban. Get the fuck. Bye, y'all. Ashay.